and the trimmer capacitors are I don't understand the, the theory totally behind us of, through RF engineering I know the basics but I don't know exactly why this occurs but when you use these trimmer caps it tunes the circuit between each this stage and that stage and that stage and that stage and so forth and uh, it causes the amplification factor to go up substantially same thing with these air wound coils if those coils aren't there you have little to no amplification once and then the size of those coils and the number of turns and the direction they're turned between each stage makes a huge difference notice each stage you got a clockwise counterclockwise clockwise counterclockwise and clockwise is so they don't resonate because if they're if they're opposite direction that's going to produce a negative feedback compared to that one and it's not going to oscillate between stages but anyway the the coupling capacitors tune the circuit between each stage to allow maximum amplification at a specified given frequency then you got your output tuning and then your input tuning the problem with this setup which it depends on how you look at it, it could be a problem it could be a, uh, a benefit is each wire basically to you looks like a wire but to an electronic circuit it's uh, resistances and capacitances and inductances of specified value depending on the length of the wire and the size of the wire and everything else and these capacitors tune with that wire so it creates a tuned circuit and it's basically a filter between each stage the more stages you have the better filtering you have so that's the reason why when you tune this amplifier for example if I run it at 106.5 tune it up with an RF field strength meter to the maximum power output I can move it to 106.3 or I can move it to 106.7 and you can see power loss on the needle of the meter but 106.5 has got maximum power that's how sharp this amplifier is and I've tested that theory and it actually works fairly well but if you're making a broadcast amplifier to be tuned across the entire band you can see that this circuits quickly not going to work you need less stages you need a wider band filtering but you it forms some kind of impedance matching so that concludes this video on the specific details of this transmitting system about how it works if you have any questions, please leave me a comment or send me a personal message and I'll try to help you out.